give a warm welcome Take to a Griffin. Clap it up for Griffin. Tell them uh, about yourself, Griffin. Hi, guys. Griffin uh, from St. Louis, Missouri, originally. Uh, yeah, but moved here um, for the dating scene, which hasn't worked out very well. So. This has got to be the best. Well, why hasn't thing, it been right? working out? I don't know. I always feel like everybody's looking for the next best thing. So. Oh. And Griffin, what's something about yourself? Just a detail that's important for the crowd to know about you. Obviously, we want them to know who you are, your character. I'm a really big personality. I'm unapologetically myself. And then what kind of a guy are you looking for tonight? What would make be the thing that's not the next best thing for you? I like a good partier that can also like kind of have their head on their shoulders. I don't know why that's so hard to find. What could happen um, right away on this day where you'd be like, oh, I love this guy, like I'm into it. Somebody that can stay out till 5 a.m. but still hold a great job. Wow. wow. And what went into that sweater? My name's Griffin, so it's kind of my Archie sweater. Uh, Aww. <laughs> and Brand I feel like such a like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so Griffin's one of the few daters. You sent 20 bullet points on the exact guy that you wanted for, for your date. I'll just read out a couple. Of Run just, through all of them quickly. Slim fit build. Doesn't own a cat. Average height. Super muscular. Oh. And then you want someone who's well groomed. <laughs> what? Describe that. Well, groomed, I don't know, like a, a good hygiene, I would say. And uh, doesn't have like a smelly f***ing ball. So yeah, you know, like, I mean, just personally, like if, if you have like facial hair, like if, I, the, the strangly at the end, I don't know. You gotta oh. have to, like clean cut oh. a little bit. Oh, I hate and, that. And you were so polite. You're like, I, I'm. I hope that's so helpful for you and Brandon. Where does your politeness come from, Griffin? My mom. I, I mean, yeah. I, yeah, you're so polite. Be. F I, well, I'm Midwest. Yeah. I'm sorry. So Harrison, I think. We're, so yeah. we'll bring out Griffin's date, and should we have Griffin not say anything and pretend he's he's so not here Griffin, while his so date comes yes, out? Maybe we'll end with a a happy ending, um, or if hopefully. <laughs> Give it up for Alex. Wow. Take a step. Take a step. So yeah, Alex, uh, describe. Actually, describe physically the kind of guy you're into. Uh, it's someone that definitely takes care of their um, their body, you know, just honest and, and can make me laugh. Do you like a Midwestern type of guy, like a like a Middle America really sweet guy? Yeah, I, I think I'm open to, to anything. Yeah. Aww. Wow. Uh, and, and Alex, what's your dating life been like recently? It, it's been pretty non-existent, to be honest. Aww. <laughs> Are you looking for the next best thing? I. Oh. I think I want something serious at this point. Nice. And what would you say your best quality is? Something that's very defining about you? I think I'm patient. Um, I am understanding. I, I think I put in like 100% for, for um, in a relationship. And I think yeah, those are the best qualities. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. And then what's something you normally don't tell people? Like a disgusting thing about yourself. <laughs> like be honest. This Look, we're very, we're filthy here. Um, I fart a lot. <laughs> so Aww. so you, you have to be you have to be comfortable with that. <laughs> and do you uh, what do they smell good or bad? Uh, it depends if I <laughs> eating a lot of protein or, or you know sometimes I like cupping my fart and making you smell it. <laughs> Wow, that is a fan. Does that turn you on? It's like kind of a turn on, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> on that note, Alex, um, look to your right. Hey, do you want to say hello, Griffin? Hey, Griffin. Hey, Alex. <laughs> the, he is not phased by that at all, Alex. So, Griffin, after hearing that, what do you want to ask Alex? Uh, <laughs> still, uh, um... So is this like a total like fetish thing? Or like, are you gonna like Dutch ovens? Or like? <laughs> wow. You know, you know what, at this point, I think it is a little bit of a fetish, so you have to be okay with that. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex, you seem excited to meet Griffin. Yeah. I, I, I'm stoked, you know. I, w I was waiting for, you know, almost an hour back there, and I was like, <laughs> almost falling asleep. So normally around like 9 p.m. is my bedtime, so. Alex has to go to bed early because he's got to wake up and f 
and get ready to fart the whole day. Well, exactly. No, this is great. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Get it all out, and then yeah. I can come to bed. Yeah, that's perfect. Rapid fire important questions about each other that will determine um, the, the your future here. And then Harris. Does anybody out there right now think that you're currently in a relationship? Whoa! No. No. Just no. No. Not at all. But Alex speaks like, no. It's like, I get such a deep voice. Do you believe in monogamy? Yes, absolutely, I do. Especially in the gay community, I think it's, it's, it's hard because we're most of the gay community is in an open relationship, right? So I, I believe in monogamy. To start with, at least. Whoa! That was going so well. All right. Am I asking all the questions? You, I mean, Al, you guys could, you could rip it. I was just going to say rip it. I was going to ask. <laughs> I know I was about to ask what like, kind of porn you watch, but I was like, I guess I'm kind of already privy to that. What, what's something that a lot of people don't know about you? I am an open book. I will never not tell you an answer to a question. Wow. What's the worst thing you've done in your entire life? <laughs> I have broken up a marriage, unfortunately. Whoa! You do not lie. We should keep going here. Um, <laughs> have you ever thought about killing someone? <laughs> do we want what happened with the couple? I kind of do. We're yeah. like, what no, exactly? No, what no, was no. the. That we need, really was. Yeah, I, I want. Yeah. I have much Griffith, better stories than Griffith, that. Griffith, take us from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. Actually, it's a very vanilla story. I, I, I've had way better, I promise you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that one, it was just. Um, very good looking gentleman. Um, I just got out of a year relationship. Went to console me. We consoled each other. The significant other isn't a fan of me. Yeah, uh, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> and was it this good? So, uh, yeah, I'm was sorry. it good sex with that guy? You yeah, I mean for sure. We, I mean like yeah, he's 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 a close <laughs> he, friend. We're good friends. Griffin really is very candid. Like he doesn't Climb hold. Up for honesty. Yeah, we love the honesty, Griffin. Yeah, it's amazing. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Some guy also just asked, "Are you still f-ing that guy at all or not?" No, 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 no. Actually, no, no. No, I'm not. Uh, Sounds like you're, something's happening uh, there. I told you I'm truthful, no. Uh, Alex, you seem uh, deep in thought. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to picture Griffin right now, um, being a homewrecker. <laughs> you- okay, okay, if I can back up on that really quick, I have a very... Uh, unpopular opinion about this. So, long relationship I was in, eight years, uh, was broken up from a person leaving me for somebody else. I have no issue with that other person because that person wasn't in a relationship with me. They had no commitment to me. They weren't the one that were supposed to say no. It was my partner. And so, like, at that point, like, I'm not going to say that I'm in the right for being a homewrecker here and there, but... <laughs> Who else is home of your act? It's funny because you do a different type of home wrecking than Alex. Alex does it with a smell. You do it with other your penis. <laughs> so Brandon, should we play that, that pheromone game? Let's with these play two? it with that. So Alex Griffin, we we really want to take this to the next level. The first sense is touch. So you guys can touch each other in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. So to. Put your hands up and out of 10, hold up how many fingers of how good the kiss was. All right. So what was the scale of the the kiss with your hands um, in three, two, one? Alex? I'm sorry. You can put the microphone down so we can get, unless it don't, you don't need one. (laughs) The next sense, uh, this one is always a tricky one. It is smell. And did it, and you could say yes or no if Alex farted. <laughs> Smells nice. Yeah. Oh. Kiss, kiss. 
Microphone down, hands up, smell on a scale from one to 10. And the next one, uh, we didn't do this one earlier. It's always interesting. It's, uh, it's hearing. So you guys could talk about each other's voices. Is this a voice that you could you know, really hear in a lot of situations? <laughs> so and that, I, 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 I don't know what the f I'm talking about. I but. think, <laughs> is there a noise or something you want to hear the person say to determine if you're compatible in a certain way? <laughs> yeah, you I, could I, sing I, I, or moan. moan. Yeah, I want to hear you moan. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. I don't know if I've ever had to fake it. Let me see. Oh! Oof. All right. Uh, f yeah. <laughs> Griffin. 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 Guys, yeah. Griffin. Griffin. All right, Alex, make your noise. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. -wee. Ah. <laughs> what verbiage um, while, um, you know, having uh, sexual interaction, like, what's the thing you say? Mine is like, thank you for having sex with me. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys say to the person? Like, what's a line or something in bed that you say? Gri Griffin? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Griffin says, sorry for ruining your life and marriage. Yeah, no, it's never like, you know, I mean, like, promise, like, it's not bad. Like, it, like, it's actually, like, good, but, like, I just, I don't know, like, I take a while. So, Alex, now what do you say? I'm so awkward in bed, first of all. <laughs> I, I will have like full conversations. I'll be like, hey, what are, what are we having for dinner after this? <laughs> like right in the middle of intercourse, I'll be like, hey, what are we having for dinner? No, you're a good multitasker. I appreciate yeah. that. Multi yeah, multitasker. Uh, Just, what are you craving? Um, uh, how was it? Do you have any food allergies? <laughs> do you have any food allergies? <laughs> I have to fart pretty soon. Where would the second date be, Griffin and Alex, if you guys were planning one? I think a stroll at Central Park. Well, I live a block from Central Park, so we can... Oh! We can. oh! So on that note, you guys are going to take your blindfolds off. Everyone, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. All right. All right, so... Any last words before we find out the results? No. <laughs> All right, so both of you, close your eyes and look straight. You're gonna put a thumb up if you want the other person. You're gonna put a thumb down if you don't. In three, two, one. Yeah! Guys, talk about why the thumbs up were up for both of both of y'all. <laughs> y'all. I'm honestly just pleasantly shocked. You what? So you thought he was disgusting or something? <laughs> no, I just like I, I don't know like I I don't know I you, felt the big muscles and everything. And I just thought maybe it was like a you didn't bag. Oh. <laughs> And he ended up being so sweet. I don't know. Like I was waiting for the catch, uh -huh. but I didn't get the catch yet. They call us the best matchmakers in town. Yeah, no, and I, I know you guys have success rate, so I yeah. mean, thank you. And Alex, why was it a thumbs up for you? I think uh, Griffin was just easy to talk to. He was honest, and he seems like an overall nice guy, so I definitely want to get to know you more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, guys. I think Griffin and Alex are gonna work out. Like, I genuinely do. I think that's the best casting I've seen in terms of matchmaking, probably, um, I mean, almost ever on the show. Truly magical. And both of them are genuine people who we, we really wanna work out. It was funny, it was real, it was honest. 
Alex and Griffin. That was phenomenal matchmaking. Like what went into that well, in, in that department of updating? What went into that was I, you know, I hit up 10, uh, 10 gay guys, two responded, and those were the two who ended up on the show together. So. <laughs> <laughs>